in this video i'm going to talk about uh, one of the app with the nurture components uh, it's called as nurture apps admin now what this app is it's basically a model driven app it is targeted towards an admin so admin can make some configuration changes in some specific areas and those particular configuration uh, information will be visible to an end users now what this app does this app allows an admin to configure video hub it's like an internal youtube uh, for your organization uh, training within organizations if there are any training or events to be scheduled so those all things can be configured uh, admin can structure template catalog so if there are templates within your organization and you want to surface that templates to end user uh, for uh, some maybe training purpose or for setting up some process or standards within your organization that you can do that over there and you can define maker assessment questionnaires so if a maker wants to uh, has an idea to build an app you know so there are some set of questions which needs to be asked to the maker uh, so that uh, all the standards and process within the organizations are followed and uh, you will be able to get some sort of rough guesstimates around uh, the complexity of the app and what is the ROI which you will be expecting out of those apps. Now, what it contains, it contains following sections like video app management, training event management, maker assessment app management, template catalog management. Okay, uh, let's go into the demo. Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> Now I'm in uh, again center of excellence nurture component solution. So you need to navigate to that solution, click on objects, click on app, and then you click on nurture apps admin and click on play to open that app. I've already opened that app over here. If you see here, this is how the app looks like. This is a model driven app. Now there are three different sections. One is for video, second is for training, and third is for maker assessment app and fourth for template app okay so video app training maker assessment app template app so four sections basically okay okay let's go one by one into the section what it contains video app now uh, video app uh, if you click on content you will see there are uh, say three items listed over here okay based on some categorization now what essentially it is it is a link to the video content now the video content can be internal or external to your organization internal means if it is stored somewhere within your um, say web server or maybe if it is stored in stream okay microsoft stream uh, external can be video can be stored in vimeo or youtube or any other external uh, uh, third party uh, which hosts the video file okay now this video will help your makers to understand the concepts and then build some apps around it or it can be training video it can be tutorial it can be how to video it can be customer success story so uh, you can define what you want okay so let's do one thing uh, now i have uh, this youtube video okay which i have created so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to just uh, take a copy uh, of the video url for this okay because i may need this <coughs> what i'm going to do i'm click on new and i'll say uh, what is advisor program so maybe this is the title for the video okay and the content description uh, i will come to that i'll paste the url first content description i will copy from uh, this particular video okay and i'll just paste it okay now i i know that this video may help the organization to uh, understand the advisor program now content video it is an external video content type power platform product what does it belongs to it belongs to maybe let's say power apps okay content category i'd say it is how to say so how to video expertise level is but advanced level okay so i have created this and i'll save this information now what essentially i've done i've created a catalog of information for my end user to view this video now where it will be viewed that i'm going to cover in the next uh, uh, episode uh, but uh, just to give you a glimpse of it, uh, it it will be shown in the video hub app okay so in the video hub app if you launch the video hub app uh, you will be able to see those information okay so if you see here what is advisor program so this is appeared over here now okay uh, we'll go focus on this app first nurture apps admin <clears throat> what all things you can do now in the video people can give some comments 
okay now these comments and all are stored over here okay now the comments can be unapproved comment approved comments so there are some various approved comments which has already been created by an end user so uh, uh, like an admin needs to just go into that particular say uh, comment which they receive and they can mark it as approved or rejected once it is approved the comment will be visible to the uh, user playlist you can also create different playlists okay i have already created four playlists i can create an another playlist called as uh, say power uh, virtual agents okay it can be any playlist whereby you want to segregate all the videos in specific order okay give some description some description about pba okay uh, playlist type it is a personal or a shared one usually it should be a shared one so that it is visible for all the user so i've saved this playlist now how do you add an item to the playlist so for that you have a playlist items now if you click on new and uh, if you select playlist okay now the playlist which we have created is power virtual agent so you select that and then you say which content video needs to be attached to that playlist now let's assume this is that uh, just for example purpose i'll just select this okay and i'll just name it as pba advisor okay name doesn't matter but technically what we have done we have created a playlist before and then we attach the video content to that playlist okay so this is how the uh, video app section works coming to training now here in training if i click on events i can set up an event okay i can say uh, there is a training okay so training uh, for uh, ai Okay. <clears throat> and i'll just put the month name august 2023 event organization uh, organize uh, email i'll just put my uh, email address okay event description uh, training for a chat gpt okay um, yeah. max attendees i want 10 max attendees for this okay uh, what is the start time so start time would be for it will be on the 30th of the august it will end on 30th of the august and the time will be from 8 a.m to maybe 10 a.m okay location is uh maybe i'll just put auckland nz okay uh and language is english and everything is fine even join link so if i have a teams link which i have already created i can present it over here for timing i'll just make some make up something so teams join um, and then put some value okay and then this will be the teams link okay so this is very important you need to put it correct so that attendees can register for that particular event Okay, so i click on save now where it is visible again i'm going to cover that in my separate video it will be visible on nurture apps maker i've just opened it over here under uh, upcoming events you will be able to see that particular uh, training which we have created okay right coming back to nurture apps admin come to assessment questions and categories now these assessment questions and categories will not be populated for you directly what you need to do is like in the power platform uh, center of excellence starter kit solution uh, you will find one excel file okay in that excel file uh, there will be some sort of questions categories okay i'll just uh, open that excel file for here uh, if you see this excel file it has some sort of questionnaire categorization some format number assessment categories answer options against that particular question okay now once you import that in the power platform uh, environment then this will be visible over here now how to do that i have covered that in a separate video okay now let's assume that you have all the active assessment questions over here and assessment categories over here okay now this you will uh, be using that in a different sort of app whereby a maker can uh, set up some uh, say a form okay so I, when I, i'll show you something over here now if you are in nurture apps maker there is something called a solution assessment okay once you click on solution assessment there will be uh, some uh, master data set for this particular solution assessment in the nurture apps admin uh, section okay so that's all about maker assessment app templates 
in templates you can create a template which you need to surface out to an end user okay now again where the template will be visible it will be visible on nurture apps maker under template catalog and you will see a whole bunch of templates listed okay now let me do one thing let me show you one template okay now let's assume this is one template for my organization it's a very simple template uh, it's just that i need to surface this document before an, uh, any maker makes an app okay they need to fill this so what do you do with this you just need to click on new <clears throat> and then say uh, app 101 uh, fill template okay some some name okay and i'll say fill this before you make an app template type is it's a document <coughs> oh i'll say no featured and i'll save this after i save this i will be presented with the template file section i'll select that template file click on open and then i will uh, you know, be able to see that template now where this template will be visible this template will be visible in the template catalog section so if i refresh the template catalog section in nurture apps maker this particular template as you see over here will be visible to an ad makers and the maker can download this template and then fill it okay so that's it for this is all about nurture apps admin uh, application it allows you to configure video app it allows you to configure training app uh, it allows you to configure maker assessment uh, assessments and it allows you to uh, create a template thank you